Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan for Plural Site. In this module, we shall understand what transaction management is and how to implement transaction management using JDBC. Now, let us first understand what transaction management is. Say that we have two persons, one is Shekhar and the other one is Srinivasan and the requirement is Shekhar wants to transfer $2,000 to Srinivasan. For that requirement, we need to perform two transactions, one to withdraw the amount from Shekhar and the other to deposit the amount to Srinivasan. Now, assume that the transaction to withdraw the amount from Shekhar is successful and the transaction to deposit the amount to Srinivasan is failure. Then, we can observe that the amount is deducted from Shaker account but the amount is not deposited to Srinivasan which creates lots of problems. To overcome, we need to use transaction management. So, what does transaction management means? It is used to manage the interrelated transactions efficiently by committing all the transactions or reverting all the transactions. That is, if all the SQL statements present in transaction scope has been executed successfully, then we can commit the transaction which stores the data permanently at the database. And if any one of the SQL statement present in the transaction scope is a failure, then we can roll back all the transactions such that no changes happens at the database. Now, let us understand practically how to achieve transaction management in action using JDBC. 